This bitch left her purse on the ground to go take pictures of geese. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. <gasps> Did you know that atoms never touch each other? And since we're made of atoms, we've never touched anything in our entire lives. So to answer your question, officer, no, I did not punch that kid. Hey, Noah. Yeah. Would you mind making me a tea? Oh, yeah, sure. Here you go, Granny. Here's your tea. That's not a tea. Now, Granny, I know my alphabet, and that's a tea. Well, yeah, it's a tea, but it's not my tea. I ordered my boyfriend a really fun gift from this website, and I just opened it, and I'm really excited to see it, because I think it's about to be really freaking funny. <gasps> Who the fuck is that? What? That's not me. <laughs> Let's play two truths and a lie. One, I have a big scab in the middle of my forehead and everyone's been asking if I converted to Hinduism. Two, I'm Dwayne The Rock Johnson's cousin. And three, one time I ate hot wings and as I was leaving the hot wing place, my stomach really started to hurt. And so I went to my dad's house because it was the closest house around and it was nighttime and I went and knocked on his door and nobody answered. It was just the dog barking. I really had to go to the bathroom. So I ran down the steps and I pulled down my pants in the front yard and I started doing the Hershey squirts. And as I was going, my these lights started pulling up in the driveway and my dad comes out of the car and he starts yelling at me, asking what I'm doing. And I'm telling him that I'm using the bathroom in his front yard. And then he asked me what I was going to wipe with. And I said that there were some leaves around. And then two days later, the neighbor stepped in it and the dog rolled in it. And there was a dead spot in my dad's yard for a year. You're like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Well, you're like the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah. Are you having contractions? Yeah. For how long? I don't know, over an hour. <laughs> Are they every five minutes or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should probably go. <laughs> so you think the ketchup? Okay. Take salt. What do you think is happen? It's gonna heat up. Okay, give it a little bit. Why is it going to heat up? I'm trying to think why. It's getting there. There's going to be some kind of green that reacts with salt to some degree that creates heat. Yeah, put your hand over there. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> You're cleaning that all up. Here. You left this in my vagina. So I've seen this trend a lot on TikTok and I'm gonna try it out on my one year old daughter. Babe, have you been using this? Yes, why? Where? On my face because it's for sensitive skin, plus it smells nice. <laughs> well, is your face a vagina? The fuck no. Well, it's gonna turn into one if you keep using it. I'll stop using my stuff. Oh, what the fuck, babe? Hey, Dad. Dad. 
That's a cute wedding picture. Is that the day mom came to work for us? <laughs> mom, I am a legal adult. I need to stop being tracked. Cynthia's mom told me she tracks her daughter, so I'm not so crazy. If Cynthia's mom were to jump off a bridge, would you? What? Answer the question, mother. No. 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 You can't do that. Listen, two fucking inches is enough, okay? The fuck do you mean two inches is enough? It's, a, it's, a, it's adequate. You should have fucking warned me. That's a fucking average! That's a fucking micro piece! That's fucking that's average! Hey mom. What? So I've been thinking about trying some new pickup lines. Let me know what you think about this one. Okay. Are you a puzzle? Because I can be the piece you're missing. <laughs> or I can leave you on the table unfinished. <laughs> hey Sid. Do you know when I was about 10 or 11 or 12, there was a top 10 song on the radio called 8675309? It was played on all the radio stations, like Top 40 radio. It was on AM 106 when I was growing up. I mean, I'm sure I heard the song, but it, no. Do you know the name of the song? 8675309? Yeah. So are you guys telling me that I never taught you guys how to do the one sheet toilet paper wipe? <laughs> Every single soldier in the army has taught this. You can wipe with a single sheet of paper and then we would not run out of toilet paper. All you do is take a sheet, you fold it in half, <laughs> and you fold it in half again. And this is the most critical part. You tear the corner off and you have to save this. You open the sheet back up. Now you have a hole in the middle. You stick your finger through the hole. You wipe your bottom. <laughs> And then you use the sheet to clean off your finger. You throw it away. The critical part, you pick that corner back up and you use that to get under your nail. And then you're clean. And if you just do that, everyone's using one sheet and we wouldn't run out of toilet paper and there'd be toilet paper on the shelves. And trust me when I tell you that my youngest daughter doesn't fall far behind. About a year ago, she broke up with her boyfriend and she was kind of depressed. And a friend of mine happens to have a very handsome young man for a son. This friend of mine happened to post a picture of all of them doing some kind of, you know, obstacle course run at the end of it. They were all flexing their muscles. And I thought, well, maybe I can show my daughter this picture and she could find him attractive and get a little distracted from her breakup. So I show her the picture. And this is what that child decides to say to me. Hmm. Nice muscles. But does he know how to use them, like how to choke me properly during sex? Okay, go like you know this. Like put it on your chin. Okay. <laughs> Listen, go like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, put it on your chin. Okay, go like this. <laughs> put it on your chin. <laughs> what is so funny? Wait, go like this. Uh -huh. Put it on your chin. Go like this, put it on your chin. <laughs> Wait, go like this, put it on your chin. On your chin, on your chin. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I can't even hold that properly. Never been so unsatisfied in my life. Yeah, I've had bigger. A good, but not enough. That's about right. I mean, I can't complain. Oh, fucking perfect. It's a bit much. It's hurting my insides.
I can't fucking take it anymore. I'm absolutely fucking destroyed. And that is how I rate my Subway sandwiches.